What's up guys? It is January 13th, 2023, and I just got done reading a whole bunch of awful new proposed anti-gun legislation. Um, and then when I finished that, uh, somebody texted me that they, uh, they saw that the ATF is actually going to go forward with their ban on braces. All of that sucks. I don't really use braces. I still think that sucks. Um, so I, I have some suggestions for you guys in, in what you should be looking for and maybe where you should spend your time training in 2023, knowing that all of this anti-gun legislation is coming on board. But first, I'm just going to fill you in. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of confusion on the ATF brace ruling. From what I hear, not a lawyer and I'm not the ATF, so if I'm wrong, sorry guys, I'm, I'm just a guy on the internet at this point. Um, from what I hear though, uh, they're going to update the registry once they do that, maybe sometime next week or in the next two, three weeks, something like that. Uh, from that point, they're going to give you 120 days to either register your brace attached gun as an SBR with a photo submitted or to remove the brace and destroy the brace. Um, that means that you're, that, that requirement for the photo being submitted means that that, in my mind, is not just a regular ATF SBR tax stamp, because you don't have to do that now. Um, and presumably, this is an assumption on my part, uh, but presumably you may not be able to modify that gun out of that configuration in the photo once that stamp is slapped on there. So... Yeah, that sucks. Um, guys, so the advice part for 2023. If you shoot an AR pistol with a brace on it today, I think you should learn how to shoot that gun well, as well as possible, without a stock or a brace. And I think you should learn the benefits of uh, making that gun slick and a little bit smaller. And I can teach you that. Um, generally, outside of, of just the, the AR and the AK style guns, uh, just anyone who's running a modern handgun today, maybe you should learn this year how to run something that is the least likely to be banned. Maybe you should get good at that skill before you need it, because you probably will, right? Uh, I saw New Mexico propose some legislation today limiting capacity to nine rounds or less. What guns do you got left there? Not, I mean, right? N not the ones that you're carrying. Uh, so 2023 may be a great year to learn how to shoot a snub nose revolver and learn which ones are best learn the ones that give you the most capability and learn what capabilities you actually gain with those tiny little simple wheel guns over your your fancy semi-auto that you're carrying now. Um, maybe you should learn how to shoot a 50 state legal 12 gauge. Maybe, because I mean, Joe doesn't have them on the list and neither will the next guy and probably the next guy after that. Snub nose revolvers and shotguns are probably going to be last on the list. So sucks, but um, maybe you should have some options to carry for defense that are 50 state legal. And uh, on, on that note with the AR and AK stuff, remember that if you register that as an SBR and you have it configured as a short barreled rifle that you lose some of the carry capability that comes with a pistol. At least where I am, an AR pistol is covered under concealed carry law. It is a handgun. Uh, once it is a registered short barreled rifle, I don't know guys, I don't think so. Um, so maybe, maybe if you are using that as a truck gun or a bag gun, uh, or some sort of gun that you may want to legally carry with you for defense, that you ought to look at being able to run it as a bare tube 
pistol. And maybe you should learn all of the, the benefits that come um, with that, right? There's some, there's some capability losses, but there's some capability gained. Something to think about. Uh, I'm sure more details will emerge on the ATF thing. And if I'm wrong, you can light me up in the comments. Um, we're five minutes in and here's where I want to tell you guys and embarrass some of you who already commented. Um, if you, th if you're like losing your mind right now and you're going to leave a long angry rant about how you hate the state and how this ain't going to stand and how you won't follow unconstitutional laws. Remember, there's already a lot of unconstitutional gun laws in the books and people get sent to jail for them every day. So if you are openly admitting that you're not going to follow the law on the internet in an open forum on YouTube, maybe you're a freaking idiot. But maybe that comment's already there and even if you delete it, it's somewhere forever. So uh, don't say stupid shit, guys right? But also, I'm going to leave you with follow the law, because uh, it may suck, it may be un unconstitutional, um, but following the law is still the best way to not go to prison. So, yeah, just a reminder, I'm, I'm thinking that a lot of people are going to be losing their minds in the next week or two. All right, guys, um, I made some training suggestions for you guys. I hope you follow up on that. Even if you don't want to fly out to, to come train with me, remember I do the virtual training. I do a lot of that now. And everyone that I've talked to um, has given me good feedback on that. So uh, schedule an appointment. We can do a Google Meet virtual video session, dry fire in your home. We can also um, get together for a class and I've got several of them open open enrollment classes now uh, go check them out on the website if you like this content if you want to see it stick around go to the link in the description for patreon um, and and help me you know feed my kids keep a roof over my head all right guys thanks for watching keep training stay safe